Yo, what's up you guys? Today I want to share with you the secret that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to creating your reality, which is why they think God or the universe is screwing them over. You know what I'm saying? So if you feel like you have no control over what's happening in your life, then yo, you definitely don't want to miss this one. And this is still part of the series that I'm doing called Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zilin. I let's do this. You see, according to Zilin, people are like the little kitten that stands in front of a mirror not realizing that it's looking at its own image, its own reflection. Let me say that again. People are like the little kitten that stands in front of a mirror not realizing that it's looking at its own reflection. Let that sink in. Let me ask you, do you ever feel like you're at the hands of circumstance where bad things just happen out of nowhere and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it? Do you ever feel like that? If so, here's the thing. That's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. A fake prop, Zealand says, which you can dispel easily if you want to. Remember, what did I talk about in a previous video that I said should be ingrained in your mind because it'll save you a lot of trouble? It's that the world is what? A mirror. The world is a mirror, listen, that reflects your relationship to it. The world is a mirror that reflects your relationship to it. In other words, the world will agree and reflect back whatever you believe it to be, straight up. For instance, if you believe the world is bad and tough and dark, just a constant struggle, guess what the world's going to say? As a mirror. Okay, have it your way. So don't be surprised with what life throws at you. On the flip side, if you believe the world is good and friendly and abundant and just a constant support, then the world's going to say, as a mirror, okay, as you wish. Hmm, what do you know? Everyone's right. <laughs> Why? Again, the world is a mirror. And here's a problem, is that many times people get so attached to the mirror, their reflection, that they start chasing after it. They try changing their circumstances, trying to force things to happen, which surprisingly is going about it the wrong way. It's like what a kitten does when it plays with its double in the mirror, not having a freaking clue that the double is actually its own reflection. So your reality right now, the circumstances you're in, your environment, it's not a completely separate, unrelated thing, you guys. It's a reflection of you, your relationship to the world, the things you think about, the things you believe. The point is, folks, don't try to change your reality by focusing on what you see, your reflection. You're just wasting your stinking time. Look at it this way. In a literal sense, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, what do you do? Do you change your reflection by destroying the mirror? Of course not, dude. Then you're going to be going through a lot of mirrors every day. You know what I'm saying? Your reflection's still going to be the same. Here's a secret to changing your reality, your circumstances. It should be clear by now. It's so simple. Ready? Do the opposite. Do the opposite. What do I mean? Focus on you. Look at yourself first. That's the starting point, and only then in the mirror. So instead of constantly complaining about what you see in the mirror, things you don't want and are trying to avoid, Vadim says, turn away from it. Turn away from it. Switch your attention from the reflection and change you. How? By taking control of your thoughts from now on. Start creating a picture in your mind of what you want to see things you want to achieve. Play your own game, Zealand says, in which you deliberately substitute negative emotions with positive ones, like confidence for fear, enthusiasm for gloom, indifference for resentment, joy for irritation, and so on. And here's a cool thing. The world, as a mirror, will reflect the content of your attitude. Is this making sense? So now you're no longer reacting to the reality of your life. Because now there's this deliberate, purposeful way of you sending out your chosen thought forms out into the world and then having the mirror consolidate the content. This is the difference between what Zilin calls inner and outer intention. Inner intention is when you try to force things to happen on your reflection, on your circumstances, okay? Outer intention, on the other hand, is about leaving the world alone and letting go of your grip, focusing on you and on your thoughts instead, because that's where the real power is at, you guys. That's what'll move the world. All right, real talk. Whatever you're going through right now, I don't know, maybe times are tough. Look, don't believe the illusion. There's something you can do about it. Again, all you got to do is move yourself. Take control of your thoughts. Focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. And let go of your grip. And then here's what's going to happen. Zealand says that when you take control of your relationship to reality and keep your hands away from the mirror, outer intention will begin to work and the world will move and come out to meet you because you get what you believe. Yeah. 
you change your consciousness, you change your world. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified on my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And in case you haven't heard, there's an official International Transurfing Institute for the English Language endorsed by Vadim Zeeland himself. And you can find out more by clicking on the links below. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.